Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this really cute Easter basket treat holder just in time for Easter in a few weeks. And it use I'm um I found these cute little bunnies. They're from Lint and you get five bunnies in a pack. And I'm gonna use that for my treat. And the basket fits them perfectly. It's so cute. Um I'm using the basket bunch stamp set and dies and I want to show them to you really quick. They are really fun, little dies and stamps, and you can use these on a variety of projects. I'm using the basket mainly today, and I'm mostly using the dies, but the stamp set is adorable. You've got lots of little bunny choices, a little marshmallow peep, solid bunny, a little cute bunny. There's daffodils and um, flowers, grass, eggs, super cute, and good for spring and not just Easter. So that's um, one of the parts about it and then the next is the coordinating dies and the dies are really fun and I showed them in a video up close but all the different things I'm going to show you really quickly in case you didn't watch that video um, all the little pieces that I've made with the I just made sat at my desk and made a whole bunch of pieces so I knew I could use them on some upcoming um, Easter projects these dies cut out these fun Easter shapes these little eggs, some of them have polka dots and stripes and that one, and then you can layer them behind solid eggs to get two tones in one, like that, really cute. The basket does a similar thing. You can cut it out with holes in it, with this one, or solid with this one. So you've got a lot of choices with this die set, and I love it. And I think that it's a great deal. You can purchase the stamp set by itself or the dies by themselves, but if you buy them together, you save 10% by purchasing the bundle, which I recommend. And it is really fun. The dies are photopolymer, so they're easy to line up. And it's a really fun set for spring. So let's get to the basket. I already cut everything out because uh, you all know how to cut things out. And it uses two of the solid baskets and one of the one with the holes in it. I needed two handles. And then I also needed some other pieces to add a bottom to the basket and some sides. So this piece here is one and a half inches by two inches. And these are three quarters of an inch by two inches. Now this one is a simple score. You're gonna score a half of an inch on either side. So that one's easy. This one is tricky. And that's because, I don't know, I thought it would be better if the um, score was at a diagonal. And rather than have to figure that out for each one and just play it by ear, I decided to measure it. <laughs> so I do have measurements for you, and I will show you how to do that. So what I did was, I'm going to put it here on the um, cutter so you can see. So on the bottom, or on one side, you can decide which side is the bottom, I score, I made a little pencil mark at half an inch on either side. So see, I went half an inch from this side, half an inch from that side. Then turn it over, and this time you're going to do, whoops, uh, a four, you're going to do it at the fourth. So you're going to fourth of an inch right there and make your little pencil mark. And then what you're going to do is line those up on the track of your cutter and score from line to line. So it, oops. score that diagonal. And now you've got your diagonal score lines, and I can do it this so the pencil's on the inside. And there you go. So that's my tricky little piece there. So I did that on this one already. And those are the pieces needed for the basket. And then it's just assembly, which is really simple. I'll show you how I did it. I like to use a silicone mat when I'm going to use this liquid glue. In case any little spills come out, my project won't end up sticking to my table. So. I added some of the glue to one of the, the basket with the little cutouts in it, which is really cute. And then we're going to do our pieces. So you're going to fold up your score line. This is the bottom. And that you 
you just attach to the bottom of the basket. Oops. So. Okay, so you've got your two sides and your bottom, and then your angle pieces. Let's go ahead and add some glue. And you're going to stick those right and let that dry for a second. We'll go ahead and put the handles in. There you go. Now set that aside to dry, and I'm going to talk to you about this grass. So the grass is a little long, and we need to cut it in half so that I can have a piece for the front and the back. So you cut it in half, and I went along one of the, I wanted to make sure to have some nice grass pieces showing, so I cut out some of them that were overlapping so they would look more natural. So there, I'll use that for the back, I'll use that for the front. So go ahead and glue those in. There you go. Now as far as decorating the front of the basket, there are so many choices with these dies. I decided this one has a bow, so I'm going to use a flower for my second one here. I'm just going to add that with some glue. There we go. Now this one I decided I wanted to have a Happy Easter tag. The Happy Easter comes from the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. It is a fantastic stamp set. There's 24 stamps and it has just about every holiday you can think of. Merry Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Retirement, St. Patrick's Day. There's also things like For You, Thinking of You, Get Well, Wishes, I'm So Sorry, things like that. They come in this, when I bought them, they only came in wood. And this is one of my last remaining wood stamp sets. The other one is uh, Lovely as a Tree. <laughs> And my last remaining wood stamp sets, but now you can also get it in the clear mount version, which is like the cling mount, so you can choose either one. I do like the little words in wood, uh, easy to hang on to, but that is an awesome stamp set. I'm always worried that this is going to be the year it retires because it's actually been around for quite a while. Uh, I just used a little scrap of paper to stamp my Happy Easter, and I want to show you, I just kind of used scissors to make a little fork end there. And I wanted to round the top off of my tag, so I want to show you how I do that, just to, so it's less rough. I just put it in a little circle punch. It just gives a nice little rounded top. And I used a hole punch just to add a little punch for the ribbon to go through. There we go. There's my Happy Easter tag. This is probably dry enough to handle. So I went ahead, I'm going to put the little bunny inside. Tie this one, I put a bow on. This one I'm going to make a paper bow. I mean a ribbon. Oops, see it wasn't quite dry enough. I'm going to cut some ribbon. I'm going to use this sweet sugar plum. plum. <laughs> I love the rouged ribbon. It's so pretty. It has that little wrinkle effect. It's just lovely. It makes it shine. And going to tie a little bow. So I hope you like this little project. I uh, think this whole stamp and die set is super cute and you still have time to get it for Easter. So I would recommend jumping on that. <laughs> um, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can buy products from Stampin' Up! straight on my blog www.bethspapercuts.com I also have a frequent buyer rewards program on my blog as well, so you can check that out. You earn points for free stamp sets. 
it's basically me sharing the hostess rewards points that I get for being a demonstrator. Uh, being a demonstrator is really awesome and right now you can join, there's a join button on my blog too, join as a demonstrator and you can decide to do as much or as little as you want as a demonstrator so you can become a business minded demonstrator or just use this as your hobby and get a nice discount on your crafting supplies. You might see what I'm doing here. This is a tooth flosser for kids with braces. My son has braces or maybe dentures too. Um, and it has a little loop at the end and it helps you to slip ribbon into things like I've already tied this bow and I'm going to slip it through this little hole in the knot. And that way I can get that baker's twine through. Happy Easter, a cute little bunny. I hope that you like it. Um, I think it's cute, and I made another video on another holder. It holds a bigger Easter treat, and you can see that in my YouTube channel. I hope you'll subscribe. I've got all kinds of fun projects coming up, and several using this really cute basket bunch stamp set and die. So I hope that you'll check them out. Thanks for watching.